What is up guys, Ian here from Cool Career Today, taking your mindset from a place of lack to a place of abundance. Today I just want to talk about how no one can tell you you're not enough. And when you have a strong enough why, there shouldn't be a single person on this whole earth that can tell you that you will never be able to do that. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, as I go on with my daily journey, just trying to uh, edify my mentor and um, trying to build my assets, you know, I have, a, I have some people that have been very uh, cautious. So like, um, I've had one guy the other day who was like, hey, I, I've um, seen a lot of red flags through this conversation and, you know, um, I think you might be in an illegal uh, pyramid and uh, you should really, really um, do some research before you uh, go farther. And I'm like, yeah, it's, uh, um, it's a good point you, you think of that. Uh, I'm glad that you're um, skeptical so no one would screw you over. And all I could do was agree with him, but knowing where I come from and who I follow, I wasn't in the slightest way um, discouraged. You know, there's times in my my. Um, entrepreneur path where I was very discouraged because people told me to be careful or um, that it was never going to work for me and you know this is where I uh, um, I kind of branch off is because who are you going to take advice from? Are you going to take advice from someone who has your best interests at hand and has done what you're trying to do or some random stranger who has no edification whatsoever, no prior requisite, requisites that you know of and they're trying to tell you how to live their lives. See, you can't, you can't just automatically trust someone else's opinion because it's an, just an opinion. Whereas someone who has your best interests at hand, they actually have um, wise words to say and you should never let someone come into your life and tell you how to live your life if they haven't built the proper trust and the um, qualification. So basically what I'm saying is, you know, once you have a big enough and strong enough relationship with people who have your best interests at hand, it's going to be really hard for you to listen to anybody else on their advice. Obviously you should be open, but you should never take what other people say um, literally because who's to say they don't even have their own self-interest in their um, self-interest so when I have people tell me like oh you're in you're in that business oh my gosh dude you're you're a sucker you you got sucked into something I'm like you just missed out on the greatest opportunity that there is and I only know that because I feel like I can get to a point where I can personally coach individuals to enlighten themselves, to become stronger individuals, to pursue financial freedom and higher strengths than that. But I also have someone in my life who's doing that exact same thing for me. And if I can edify them, I will. And I will never say anything wrong about them. And no one should tell me that I shouldn't um, be doing what I'm doing because, again, they don't even have my best interests at hand. So don't everybody, don't let anybody discourage your dreams or tell you you can't do something because when it all comes down to things, it's your personal mindset and your personal perception. And, you know, I listened to a, a, a sermon yesterday, Pastor Stephen Furtick with uh, Eva. Eva Evelation uh, Church. Basically, he talks about the only thing that's in between you and God is the defenses. Defenses. And he actually brought out a physical, like, fence and stuck it in the ground. See, these defenses are telling us, they're like previous memories telling us uh, to back our own self identity up. And what's, what's wrong with this picture is because when we def defend ourselves, we are very vulnerable. But until we can accept our situation and really begin to um, really stand our ground when someone comes into our lives and tells us that um, 
we're a complete mess and we're never going anywhere. Well, that's when you stand your ground and be like, you know, I'm not going to be... I'm not going to be offended by this. I'm going to stand my ground and I'm going to for I'm going to forget about it. Honestly, like this conversation, I've had six like this in the last month, but I've had 200 positive influencing conversations. So of course I'm going to forget this. So he talks about how in in order for you to let go of your defensive mindset, you have to let things go. And once we can start to let things go, the world is going to work a lot more in our favor because we're not going to be so cautious about um, like other people's ideas and thoughts about us. We're going to be more self-centered into our own perceptions and how our perceptions are perceived through helping others. So this is like a double bind. This is a contrary thing. You might be self selfish, but at the same time, you be, are trying to become selfless so you can be filled and fill others. So don't listen to anybody what anybody else has to say unless they have your best interests at hand and have built that accountability and trust with you. And really begin to forget about things that have discouraged you or things that have negatively impacted your life because we can, we can clear all that and we honestly shouldn't have any memory holding us back and we should only have um, future insights of what is has what it may have to come and I think that's a beautiful thing is if we can have a, a nice visualization of a beautiful future we can have that within ourselves in this moment so remember those little things guys I hope you like this video if you like this video go ahead and hit subscribe other than that I hope you guys have a beautiful day catch you later namaste